In the remake of Demon Souls, there are a total of 30 rings. Most of them are returns from the original, while there are a few that are brand new. Some of them are really good, while others are absolutely fantastic. Some of them have multiple ways of acquiring, while others just one. Regardless, if you're trying to become the King of Rings, you will need to get them all. Please note that the rings will be shown in alphabetical order, following the literal name as shown in Demon's Souls Remake. Also, there will be timestamps in the description of this video with each specific ring, so make sure that you skip around straight to the ring you're looking for. Let's get started. The Allies Ring is a mysterious blue ring received from the Monumental. It increases attack power as an ally phantom. There is only one way to obtain this ring and, as explained in its description, we get it from the Monumental. In order to do so, we must have pure white character tendency and speak with the Monumental. It will simply give us the ring. The Cat Ring is a simple ring with a cat engraving. It decreases the damage sustained from high falls, but you cannot expect this simple ring to protect your life from drops that are too great of a height. There are two ways of obtaining the Cat Ring. The first one is to buy it from Patches at the Nexus for the total of 40,000 souls. Patches will be at the Nexus after you meet him in Area 22, Tunnel City, or Area 42 Ritual Path. You really cannot miss him. The second one is found in Area 52, the Swamp of Horrors, also known as the Leechmonger Archstone. Proceed through the level as normal and, as soon as you get into the swamp, begin to walk towards the left. Eventually, you will find a black phantom walking around. It will be hostile, so deal with it. Afterwards, continue to a tiny aisle where the ring will be waiting. The Clever Rat's ring is a plain gold ring with a small animal engraved on the seal. It increases attack power while HP is below 30%. There is only one way to obtain this ring. It is in Area 31, the Prison of Hope, also known as the Tower of Latria. Proceed through the level normally until you reach the Holy Ballista of Salvation. Either roll through the arrows or take the Warden's path behind it. Once you disable it, you will be free to pick up the ring. The Kling Ring is a mysterious ring shaped like an eye. It reduces the loss of HP sustained in soul form. There is only one way to obtain this ring. It is in Area 1-1, the Gates of Voletaria, or the Voletarian Palace. Proceed through the level until you reach the high wall. Run past the fog wall and into the tower. Descend and open up the first shortcut. The ring will be within the gate you just opened. The Dole Rat's Ring is a plain gold ring with a small animal engraved on the seal. It increases defense while HP is below 30%. The ring is found in Area 31, the Prison of Hope, also known as the Tower of Latria. We get this ring from Blue Phantom Rydal. But first, we must go to Area 32, Upper Latria, also known as the Fool's Idol Archstone. You must be here in pure white world tendency. Proceed through the level until you reach the first ritual tower where you kill the draglings to sever the first chain. Once there, keep going up and there will be a plank that unites the pathway. Keep moving through it until you find the Prison of Hope second floor west cell key. With this key return to area 31, the Prison of Hope and head towards the second floor west. There, you will find once again Blue Phantom Rydal locked in a cell. Odds are you have heard him scream as you progress throughout the lab. Open his cell and speak to him. He will hand you the ring. 
The Eternal Warrior's Ring is an old bronze ring belonging to old King Doran. It increases stamina recovery speed. There is only one way to get this ring. It is inside the Mausoleum of Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria. First, we will need the Mausoleum Key, which we will acquire from Ostrava. Kill him or finish his questline to get the key. With the key, head to the mausoleum located at the high wall on the opposite side of the fog gate, in the area guarded by the Red Eye Knight. Open the door with the key and you will be greeted by old King Doran who will challenge you to test your strength against him. Hit him a couple of times and he will stop the match, saying that he is satisfied and will give you Demon Brand. From here, you are free to go, but we are not done yet. Begin attacking him again, and this time he will fight you to the death. Kill him and pick up the ring from his corpse. The Flame Resistance Ring is a soft ring bearing a deep red seal. It increases defense against flames. There are two ways to get this ring. The first one is in Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria, specifically the Dragon Roost. Head to the area and initiate a run for the item. Pick up the ring from the second corpse closest to the Blue Dragon. The second one is in Area 2-2, the Tunnel City, also known as the Armor Spider Archstone. Proceed through the level until you reach the part where Patches attempts to trick you. You will see a giant bear bug that is stuck and harmless. It is the one that would fall down and block your path if you listen to Patches. Kill the monster and watch out for its explosion. Right behind where the bear bug was, you will find the ring ready for pickup. The Foes Ring is a mysterious black-red ring received from Mephistopheles. It increases attack power as a black phantom. There is only one way to obtain this ring and, as its description states, it is from Mephistopheles. She is an NPC that appears in the Nexus when the player has pure black character tendency and has killed Yurt, the silent chief, after freeing him. Yurt is an Area 3-2, Upper Latria, or Fool's Idol's Archstone. After you break the first chain that holds the heart in the first Ritual Tower, you will advance and see two steel cages that are open. If you go a bit further, you will find one more cage next to some prism stones. It holds Yurt. Free him and kill him. Back at the Nexus, speak to Mephistopheles and she will ask you to do some assassinations for her. Accept and get to work. First, she will ask you to kill Saint Orvain and his two disciples. Second, she will ask you to kill Sage Frake and his disciple. Third, she will ask you to kill Patches. Fourth, she will ask you to kill Bior. The fifth assignment is to kill Ostrava. Finally, she will ask you to kill Yuria. When all assignments are completed, Mephistopheles will give you the ring and attack you for your trouble. The Fragrant Ring is a nobleman's ring filled with spice. It slowly recovers MP over time. There are a total of four different ways to obtain this ring. The first one is at character creation. If you pick the royalty class when you make a new character, you will start with this ring equipped. The second one is in Area 4-1, Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly. Trade the Brass Telescope for the ring. Remember that you can get the Brass Telescope from Ostrava after rescuing him in Area 1-1, the Gates of Voletaria. The third one is in Area 3-2, Upper Latria, or the Fool's Idol, Archstone. Proceed through the level until you are in the swamp area at the bottom of this whole level. Jump into the swamp and traverse it to the arch tentacle and large torch. Pick up the ring from the corpse. 
The fourth way is to buy it from Patches at the Nexus for 60,000 souls. Remember that Patches will be in the Nexus after you have met him, either in Area 22 Tunnel City or Area 42 The Ritual Path. The Gash Resistance Ring is a soft ring bearing a bright red seal. It increases resistance to bleeding. And there are two ways to obtain this ring. The first one is located in Area 1-2, the Lord's Path, also known as the Phalanx Archstone. Cross the first section of Dragonfire to reach the first tower. Go towards the bottom and head towards the left. Follow the path, mowing through all of the enemies in your way. The ring will be ready for pickup on the left hand side by some crossbow soldiers. Take it from the corpse. The second one is located in Area 42, the Ritual Path, also known as the Adjudicator's Archstone. Head to the Necromancer Room and, after killing it, go to the back where Patches is. Talk to him and follow his advice. He will kick you into the hole where Saint Torvain is trapped. Kill the Black Phantom, go up the stairs and confront Patches for being an asshole. He will give you the ring as an apology. The Grey Robber's Ring is an ancient topaz ring that subdues your essence, discouraging detection by Black Phantoms. There are two ways to obtain this ring. The first one is in Area 41, Isle's Edge or the Shrine of Storms. Proceed through the level until you reach a broken down building that is right before the Adjudicator Fog Wall. Climb to the second floor and you will find multiple destroyed structure beams, except for one. Cross it and reach a corner with a corpse. Pick the ring from it. The second one is in Area 42, the Ritual Path, or Adjudicator Archstone. That said, first we need to go to Area 41, Isle's Edge, and find a copper key that is located on the right side of the first wall of the level. With the key, fall down into the hole after the Vanguard Demon and follow this path to a jail. Open the door and free the Grave Robber Merchant. Now that he is free, go to Area 42 and find the merchant standing right before the Necromancer Room. Kill him and get the ring from his corpse. Shaped with straw rope, the Master's Ring increases damage inflicted by optimal hits while decreasing damage inflicted by all other attacks. There are two places to get this ring. The first one is in Area 2-4, Shrine of the Dragon God or the Dragon God Archstone. After defeating the Dragon God, go to the Archstone and make your way back towards the right where the second magical ballista is. Past it is a hallway that leads to the opposite side of the Dragon's Bone Smasher. The ring can be picked up from a corpse. The second one is in Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria. You must be here with pure white world tendency, go through the now open gate to the left from the initial archstone and proceed through the execution grounds. Inside the disposal building you will find Executioner Miralda. She will attack you on sight, kill her and get the ring from her corpse. The Plague Resistance Ring is a soft ring bearing a dark purple seal. It increases resistance to plague. There are two places to find this ring. The first one is in Area 32, Upper Latria or Fool's Idol Archstone. Proceed through this level until you reach the very bottom of the swamp area. Traverse the wooden pathways until you reach a dead end, where there are a few monstrosity enemies waiting. Dispatch these enemies and the ring will be ready to be picked up from the corpse. The second is an Area 22 Tunnel City or Armor Spider Archstone. From the start at the Archstone, go forward and turn right into the tunnel with the many mining mobs. Go past the tunnel and through the pathway on the right. Begin descending by dropping down from rafter to rafter, always keeping to the left. At about the third rafter down, the ring will be on a corpse. Take it. 
The poison resistance ring is a soft ring bearing a deep green seal. It increases defense against poison. There are two locations where this ring can be found. The first one is in area 2-1, the smithing grounds, or stone fang tunnel. Proceed through the level as intended. Once you activate the water wheel that removes the lava, move down into the newly opened area and go into the broken cell. Pick up the ring from the corpse. The second one is in area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria. You must be either with pure white world tendency or pure black world tendency. Go through the now open gate on the left from the initial archstone and proceed through the execution grounds. Go into the disposal building and head down the stairs. Pick up the ring from the corpse. The providential ring is a luxurious ring of simple design. It raises the chances of item discovery. There are two ways to get this ring. The first way is to pick it as the starting gift when creating a new character. If you're interested in getting all the rings with a single character, make sure you pick it up here as it is the easiest way. Alternatively, the second way of getting the ring is Area 4-1. Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly, specifically the Large Sword of Searching for the Ring. Now, for some reason, maybe could be a bug, the Large Sword of Searching must be created by using the Scimitar as its base weapon. If any other weapon is used, Sparkly will not accept the trade, so get a Scimitar to plus 8, upgrade to the large sword of searching and trade it. The Regenerator's Ring is a mysterious ring of unknown origin. It slowly recovers HP over time. There are three ways of obtaining this ring. The first one is found in Area 5-2, the Swamp of Horrors, also known as the Leechmonger Archstone. Proceed through the level as normal and, as soon as you are in the swamp, begin to walk towards the right, hugging the wall. First, you will find a Murdan hammer, and the second item is the ring. Pick it up from the corpse. The second one is in Area 4-1, Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly, specifically the Jade Hair Ornament for the ring. You can get the ornament in Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria. Proceed to the high wall and into the tower past the fog gate. Begin to go down the tower and, halfway through, go through a door that will lead to some chains. Break these chains and continue going down. At the bottom, go out the door where you find the cling ring and turn right. Pick up the ornament from the second corpse. The third way is also in Area 4-1, Isle's Edge. Proceed to the first wall where the archers are. Go through the left passage, past the trap and climb up. Kill the enemies and move to the other end of the wall. Once here, remove all of your armor and weapons and roll diagonally into the wall. You will now be on top of the wall and you can see an item below. This is the ring. Drop down and pick it up from the corpse. The Ring of Avarice is a gold ring fitted with a large jewel. It increases the number of souls obtained from slain enemies. There are two ways of obtaining this ring. The first one is in Area 3-2, Upper Latria or Fool's Idol Archstone. Proceed through the level normally, killing the enemies at both ritual towers and breaking both chains holding the heart. Once the heart falls, proceed to the main tower where the heart used to stand and go to the bottom. You will find the heart's remains and some items. The second corpse holds the ring. The second way to get this ring is in Area 3-1, Prison of Hope. It can be bought from the former noble's wife, the merchant, for 50,000 souls. She is located in the fourth floor. The Ring of Devout Prayer is a humble and plain white silver ring. It increases miracle memory capacity. There are three locations to find this ring. The first one is in the Nexus, 
the ring is held by Saint Orvain. Kill him and take it from his corpse. He will be at the Nexus after you free him from Area 4-2, the Ritual Path or Adjudicator's Archstone. The second one is found in Area 5-2, the Swamp of Horrors or the Leechmonger Archstone. You must be in pure white world tendency. Proceed to the area as normal and go through the first fog gate. Once you are past the gate, go into the swamp and head to the right. Very close by, you will see a small island in the swamp with a woman sitting by a fire. This is Celine, Carl Vinland's sister. She is looking for her brother and we are going to find him. Go to the boss area where you fight Carl and Astraya originally. If you have already defeated them, a black phantom version of Garl will be there. Kill him and he will drop the Vinland crest. Pick it up and take it back to Selene in area 5-2. She will take it, thank you and give you the ring. The third way is in area 4-1, Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly, specifically the Large Sword of Moonlight in exchange for the ring. To get this sword, you need to go to Area 5-2, Swamp of Horrors, or the Leechmonger Archstone. From the Filthy Lady Merchant, go back into the swamp straight line until you reach this ascending wooden plank pathway. Move forward and you will begin to see slugs until finally arriving to the nest, hanging from the ceiling. Slash the nest until it falls. Now go back down and you will find all of the slugs from the nest surrounding the sword. Kill the slugs or do a suicide run to pick up the sword. The Ring of Great Strength is a ring bestowed to King Alan's Twin Fangs. It raises equipment weight limit. There are two ways to get this ring. The first way is in Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria, specifically the Dragon Roost. Head to this area and initiate a run for the item. Do your best to dodge the red dragon's flames and the blue dragon's tail swipe. Pick up the ring from the final corpse, closest to the blue dragon. The second location is the Nexus. The ring is held by Bjor. Kill him and pick the ring from his corpse. But before he appears in the Nexus, we have to free him. First go to Area 1-3, the Inner Ward or the Tower Knight Archstone. Proceed through the level normally until you get to the fat official that is next to the three crossbow soldiers. Kill him and he will drop the iron key ring. Now, go back to the 1-3 inner ward archstone and turn around. Kill the first blue knight that will charge you and unlock the door to the right. Head into the prison and kill the fat official here. One of the cells holds Bior. Free him. Once you do it, he will appear at the Nexus, right next to the 5th Archstone, the Chieftain. Long ago, Stockpile Thomas found this ring of Herculean strength lying on the road. It raises item carry capacity. There are two ways to get this ring. The first one is in the Nexus, and Stockpile Thomas gives it to you. First, we need to go to Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria. Proceed to the high wall and go into the tower past the fog gate. Begin to go down the tower and halfway through, go through a door that will lead to some chains. Break these and continue going down. At the bottom, go out the door where you find the cling ring and turn right. Pick up the jade ornament from the second corpse. Now, return to the Nexus and speak to Stockpile Thomas. He will notice that you have the ornament and request that you give it to him. Accept, and he will give you the ring in exchange. The second one is also in the Nexus and also from Stockpile Thomas. This time, however, we have to get it from his corpse. Kill him and take it. The Ring of Longevity is a legendary ring with an engraving of a flowing river. It increases max HP. And there's only one way to get this ring. It is in Area 4-1, Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly. Specifically, you will need to trade a pure Bladestone 
for the ring. You can get pure blade stone in area 4 too, the ritual path or the adjudicator's archstone. Go into the first necromancer room and fall to the left. Go through the door and up the stairs. Before the third flight of stairs, there will be an invisible wall. Hit it and go through to find a black skeleton moth. Kill it and it will eventually drop the pure blade stone. Good luck with the farming. The Ring of Magical Dullness is a soft ring bearing a light green seal. It raises magic defense at the expense of magic power. There are two locations to find this ring. The first one is in Area 5-1 Valley of Defilement. From the Archstone proceed through the level as normal using the path on the right. You will reach a series of structures that you have to descend floor by floor through the different holes on the roof. After falling through the first two holes, you will find a platform with a torch and two enemies. Drop to it and the ring will be on a corpse in the corner. The second one is in Area 4-1, Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly. Specifically, you need to trade the Phosphorescent Pole for the ring. To get the Phosphorescent Pole, you need to go to Area 3-1, Prison of Hope. You need to be in pure black world tendency. Head to the second floor west, where Rydal is locked up, and you will find Black Phantom Rydal outside of his cell. Defeat him, and you will get his weapon, which is the Phosphorescent Pole. The Ring of Magical Nature is an ever-cold ring that increases magic memory capacity. There are two ways of obtaining this ring. The first location is in Area 1-3, the Inner Ward or the Tower Knight Archstone. First, proceed through the level normally until you get to the fat official that is next to the three crossbow soldiers. Kill him and he will drop the Iron Key Ring. Now, go back to the 1-3 Inner Ward Archstone and turn around. Kill the first blue knight that will charge you and unlock the door to the right. Head into the prison and kill the fat official here. Pick up the bloody key from his corpse. Finally, take this key back to the Inner Ward Archstone. At the beginning of Area 1-3, head to the alley on the right of the fountain and unlock the iron door. Follow through the houses and the bridge to find yourself in a tower. Climb the tower and you will find two corpses. The ring is on the second one. The second location is in the Nexus. Yuria, the witch, has their ring. Kill her and get the ring from her corpse. But first, we need to rescue her. Go back to the same location where we got the first ring of magical nature, the tower that's behind the bloody key door. Here, you will need to equip the full set of fat official clothing, legs, gloves, coat, and hat. Once you do so, you will be disguised, and the fat official up top will lower the stairs for you. Go up and kill him. Afterwards, remove the fat official clothing and speak to Yuria. She will thank you and return to the Nexus. The Ring of Magical Sharpness is a soft ring bearing a light green seal. It raises magical power at the expense of magical defense. There are two ways of obtaining this ring. The first is in Area 3-1, Prison of Hope. You will need the 4th floor cell key for this. While in the 4th floor, use the key to enter the cell with multiple Iron Maidens, specifically the three of them bunched together. Open the furthest one to the left wall, and a body will fall with the ring on it. Pick it up. The second way is in the Nexus. Sage Frake holds the ring. Kill him and get it from his corpse. To get Frake into the Nexus, we will need to free him. He is jailed in Area 31, Prison of Hope, on the third floor. To open his cell, you will need to get the special key that is located behind the worshipper that revives the fool's idol. Take it back to Frake and free him. He will move to the Nexus. The Ring of Sincere Prayer is a white silver ring set with a blue gemstone. It increases the power of miracles, but also lengthens the time required for each casting. There is only one way to get this ring. It is in Area 5-3, 
Rotting Haven or Dirty Colossus Archstone. Garl Vinland and Lady Astraya are the boss of this area. Defeat them and you will pick up the ring upon Lady Astraya's death. The Ring of the Accursed is a serpent ring crafted with thin gold. It lures enemies into attacking its bearer. There are two ways of obtaining this ring. The first location is in Area 1-3, the Inner Ward, or the Tower Knight Archstone. First, proceed through the level normally until you get to the fat official that is next to the three crossbow soldiers. Kill him and he will drop the Iron Key. Now. Go back to the 1-3 Inner Ward Archstone and turn around. Kill the first blue knight that will charge you and unlock the door to the right. Head into the prison and kill the fat official here. Pick up the bloody key from his corpse. Finally, take this key back to the Inner Ward Archstone. At the beginning of 1-3, head to the alley on the right of the fountain and unlock the iron door. Follow through the houses and the bridge to find yourself a tower. Climb the tower and you will find two corpses. The ring is on the first one. The second location is in the Nexus. You get it by killing Mephistopheles. She is an NPC that appears in the Nexus when the player has pure black character tendency and has killed Yort, the Silent Chief, after freeing him. Yort is in Area 3-2, Upper Latria or Fool's Idols Archstone. After you break the first chain that holds the heart in the first ritual tower, you will advance and see two steel cages that are open. If you go a bit further, you will find one more cage. This one holds Yurt. Free him and kill him. Back at the Nexus, speak to Mephistopheles and she will ask you to do some assassinations for her. Accept and get to work. First, she will ask you to kill Saint Orvain and his two disciples. Second, she will ask you to kill Sage Frake and his disciple. Third, she will ask you to kill Patches. Fourth, she will ask you to kill Bior. The fifth assignment is to kill Ostrava. Finally, she will ask you to kill Yuria. When all assignments are completed, Mephistopheles will attack you. Kill her and pick up the ring from her corpse. The Ring of Uneven Scales is a traveler's ring bearing an engraving of a tilted scale. It raises the maximum item burden, but lowers maximum equipped burden. There is only one way to get this ring. It is in Area 4-1, the Isle's Edge, also known as the Shrine of Storms. You will need to do a trade with Sparkly. Specifically, you need to trade a gold coin for the ring. You can get a gold coin as a drop after killing any fat official. You will need to farm it as it is a low drop rate. I prefer to farm the fat official in Area 2-2, Tunnel City or Armor Spider Archstone. From the start, move forward and turn to the left tunnel. Past the exploding minecarts, there will be a fat official in the elevator room. Good luck with the farming. The Ronin Ring is shaped with straw rope. It slows down the wear endured by weapons. There are two ways to obtain this ring. The first one is in Area 4-2, the Ritual Path or the Adjudicator Archstone. It is in the room right before the old hero boss fight with the exploding will-o'-wisps and the slugs. Fall down into the glowing water and go into the enclosed tunnel. You will find a corpse with the ring and hiltless. Pick it up. The second one is in Area 2-2, Tunnel City or Armor Spider Archstone. You must be in pure white world tendency for this. From the start, at the Archstone, go forward and turn right into the tunnel with the many mining mobs. Go past the tunnel and through the pathway on the right. Begin descending by dropping from rafter to rafter until you reach the one that has a thin beam connecting to a wooden structure. Cross it and you will find a smaller cave. In it, you will find Skiver, the Wanderer. Kill him and take the ring from his corpse. The Southern Ring is an artifact from another land, grants higher mobility in deep water. 
and there's only one way to obtain the string. It is an area 3-2, upper latria, or fool's idol archstone. You must be in pure black world tendency. Proceed through the level until you are in the swamp area at the bottom. Jump into the swamp and traverse it until you reach the prisoner horde enemy. Behind this enemy is a huge slanted pillar. During pure black world tendency, there will be a corpse behind this pillar. Take the ring from this corpse. The thief ring is an ancient sapphire ring that conceals the bearer's present from enemies up to a distance. You can get this ring from three different locations. The first one is in Area 1-1, Gates of Voletaria. Proceed through the level normally until you reach the part where you have to rescue Ostrava. The ring will be on a corpse behind him. Pick it up. The second one is in Area 5-2, Swamp of Horrors or the Leechmonger Archstone. Proceed through the level until you reach the first fog gate. After you go through it, you will be in some wooden plank rafters. Fall to the swamp and walk towards the right. The ring will be on a corpse in a small aisle. Pick it up. The third one is in the Nexus. Patches has the ring. Kill him and get it from his corpse. Patches will be in the Nexus after you meet him either in Area 2-2 Tunnel City or Armor Spider Archstone or Area 4-2 Ritual Path or Adjudicator's Archstone. You really cannot miss him. If you have been following along the whole journey, you should now have every ring in the game and unlocked the trophy. Also, you now know where to get every ring at every location, so it should be easier for you to plan out new builds and reach the rings you need as soon as possible. Hopefully, this video has proved to be useful to you. In any case, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your time and for your patience. It has been a great pleasure to create this guide and I hope that I can see you in other videos.